Okay guys, so at this point, I figured I would go ahead and talk you through this part. So I just showed you the contents of the package. You have the Fade Resist Lift Booster. You have the uh, Fade Resist Hair Lightener. And then you have the Cream Developer. And then the Conditioner. So because this, this color is so light, you are going to have a powder. And please excuse my nails. Please, I just So what you need to do, off. you need to pop the top off of this right here open the bottle of developer and you need to open the packet of powder so basically it's like your bleach powder and they're saying you want to pour the powder inside of the bottle very carefully and you're going to shake this up for at least 10 seconds so you don't want to put all the contents of the bottle in at the same time you want to do the powder first shake and then the cream hair lightener then shake your finger over the bottle and shake for at least 10 seconds now that all of that is shaken up you want to open it back up and then you want to put the hair lightener those contents it's recommended to do this with gloves but I forgot to put it on so now you want to shake this also up for 10 seconds so everything is all shaken up let me put on my gloves and then I'm going to start applying it to the wig while it's on my mannequin head just so I can make sure I know and see where the highlights will fall when the wig is on my face so what I'm doing is I went ahead and just squirted it in a plastic bowl before applying it to the hair and one thing about this you have to work quickly because because this is uh, turning and changing really fast because it's the, like the lightest blonde that they have so what i'm doing i'm loading my brush up at the tip with a little bit of the dye and i'm going through and i'm making like vertical lines because i wanted it kind of like the highlight effect at the top going into an ombre effect at the bottom so y'all know I've never did this before. I mean, I've tried dyeing a wig before, but it wasn't virgin hair. So it, it's, you know, since it did nothing, like I don't really know how it would have turned out, you know, if I did it right or whatever. So this is my first time doing this. I normally don't play with color at all, but I didn't want to bring you guys just a regular review of a black wig like I normally do no color no nothing interesting about it so I just, I just wanted to show my uh the way i do it and that i am a beginner an amateur especially when it comes to color i don't know what i what i'm doing <laughs> so yeah but that's pretty much my process i'm putting it in a bowl first just so i can spread out the product um with the brush and just make it a little bit more accurate i'm running my fingers through the ends so all the hair can get saturated but at the top, like I said, I'm making these streaks. I'm loading my brush up and making it sh with streaks like at the top. And then near the bottom, I'm running my fingers through it so all the strands can get saturated. I don't have a wig head stand or anything like that. So this is my process doing it on the floor. But
thanks for tuning in this is cutie pie 88 sorry about the lighting um it is nighttime and i have my ring light on but i wanted to come to you guys and show you this hair so um yeah so as you guys saw i did go ahead and put some highlights or ombre or whatever you might call this into this wig and this video is sponsored by Sunbird Hair. They are an Amazon um, hair seller. And all the links to this wig will be down below. This is a straight 16 inch wig. Like I said, again, from Sunbird Hair, S-U-N-B-E-R Hair. And they are an Amazon seller. So let's get right into it. So as you guys saw before, I did color this hair with some dark and lovely um I wouldn't call it dye because it's not really dye. When I think of dye, I think of darker. Um, so I wouldn't call it bleach either. Lightning cream. <laughs> I lighten the hair with the dark and lovely um, boxed cream lightener dye. So um, this is what I think of it. So um, I really, really like this color. I wanted to do something different, something for the summertime um and just something that i never did before so as you guys saw i got the lightest color and it did require some bleach powder to be poured into the mix so um i did want this hair light but of course not blonde light but i knew that this hair wouldn't become as blonde as the picture showed it's human hair but just wig hair is just different it's not going to take like it's been processed in some type of way um, by some type of chemical that will allow the hair not to really take like hair on your head um, if that makes sense but I think it did a pretty good job I didn't get anything lower than or darker than the brightest color because I wanted it to lift as much as possible because I knew it wasn't going to be totally blonde so I wasn't going to get this color like if this color was on the box I wasn't going to go for this color on the box because I wanted it to be able to lift as much as possible and I think if I would have went with an auburn color like dye it wouldn't have did anything to the hair I needed something with bleach powder in it that would totally lift and um you know um change the hair to lift it and get it as light as possible so I have bleached hair before but I feel like doing it with the box dark and lovely um definitely gave it a better result because it's softer um and it compromises the color of the hair but it doesn't compromise like the softness and the ability to um have the hold uh curl hair hold a curl um it doesn't compromise that it still holds a curl wonderfully it is shiny it is bouncy um just as if i didn't even lighten it at all so i really enjoy that about the box dye even though you did bleach it it's not making it dry and crunchy and like you know like the typical bw powder lightener does if you just straight up bleach your hair so i didn't um i did i just did it washed it out put some conditioner in it and let it um air dry and this is how it came out i really really like this copper brown color it may look a little bit different on this camera versus in sunlight but i really really like it. it's something that i never did before and it's like an ombre type deal i did go higher on this side than i did on this side it kind of starts here and starts up here on this side but i think i did a really good job um i'm really really enjoying this color my husband isn't a fan of color but even he said he likes it so as far as the wig itself it did a great job um taking the lightener and like i said still keeping the curl pattern and the softness this is 16 inches um to me it feels more like maybe 18 because it goes all the way down here if i completely stretch it and i just put some light curls in it and the curls last a good amount of time like it stays in here nothing nothing major but the lace on this unit is really really nice it's not an invisible lace unit but look at this lace like i can't even see it i did have to put some powder on the inside and i did use a got to be spray and the got to be um black gel the tube gel and i did use some a wax sticks the can two wax stick to um lay it down that's why it looks kind of shiny i think i used too much because it's a little um it's a little shiny and waxy but it's okay you can use beeswax too. So I didn't use and do any baby hair. You can see a little lace there lifting because I didn't really lay it down all that serious. Um, it was just something quick 
actually it's lifting ah, i hate that <laughs> but overall it is a great unit it is super soft it's true to length and guys this thing does not tangle like this wig does not tangle what so i haven't got not one like anything it is buttery smooth soft and so like flowy it's a very great everyday lace front wig um it is kind of hot right now for wigs that's why i've been rocking a lot of ponytails but i had to slap this thing on and do this review for y'all because it is a very affordable and beautiful everyday unit if you can rock it in the heat um it is just gorgeous like it's gorgeous i love the lace like i said i did bleach the knots and added, added some foundation but look at this it's so soft like i love it i don't have anything bad to say about this the shedding non-existent like it doesn't shed <laughs> like they really did an awesome job with this unit it did come with um four combs one in the middle two on the side and one in the back but i took the one at the top off just because i think it helps with it not looking so humpy and um i don't use the ones on the side because i experienced and i experienced some thinning of my hair on the side um if you do want to use the combs on the side make sure you put some braids there um you don't want to put it right against your scalp the combs against your scalp because it can rip out your hair so i didn't use the ones on the um side but they're still there um and then it comes with adjustable straps i didn't bother putting a elastic band on the back of this one because i didn't feel like getting a headache um but other than that, I'm loving this unit. Definitely check out Sunbur Hair. This is my second video by them. And their units do not disappoint. Like, do not disappoint. So gorgeous. I wouldn't continue doing reviews for a company if they have bad hair, bad wigs. No shedding, no tangling. I mean, of course, it's going to shed a little bit. But, like, it's really, 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 really doing a good job at not shedding what like horribly at all like <laughs> i can't stress that so definitely check it out the link will be below let me know what you guys think about this color should i keep doing it should i try something different something new like a burgundy or something so let me know okay let me know she is so cute what should i name her i should start naming my units right <laughs> but thanks so much for tuning in didn't want to make this video too long so be sure to rate comment and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos like i said check out the description box below to this unit sunburn hair on amazon so thanks for watching and definitely have a good night bye you guys